Hello, welcome back to a new video. Uh, it will be a, hopefully a rather short one uh, because it's about uh, Lightroom now being able to um, directly receive photos from your Sony cameras, at least the newer models. I'm not sure how far I go back. Um, I only found out uh, when I was testing the A1 II, uh, um, and uh, that uh, works. Um, and what is possible is that you can now use your camera to take a picture and within minute or two minutes have the uh, result shown up on your um, your uh, Lightroom on your computer or in this case your iPad. Now uh, I will first show you that it works and while we are waiting uh, we will uh, uh, talk a little bit of how, how to set it up. I won't explain it fully because it's quite a few steps and um, I can't fully remember how I did it but I will give you some hints so to get you going. And the nice thing about the solution is that it does not once you set it up, it does not uh, make use of your iPhone or your Android phone in between. So that means it's not the app that is actually sending it, but it's really the camera sending it through the cloud, uh, basically from the Sony cloud to the creative cloud from, um, from, uh, from Adobe and then back into your uh, different Lightroom setups. So let's uh, get going. So um, there's different ways to set it up, and I'll set it up, uh, explain how I've set it up. So the first step is that you see my Lightroom over there and well, the camera over here. And what I'm going to do, um, I didn't think about this, but let's put this little figurine over here and I will take a picture of this uh, little figurine. Um, well, maybe give it a little bit more depth of field. So I've now taken the picture. And I will show you a tiny bit the back of the uh, camera. Um, hopefully you can see it correctly. Um, you see a little cloud symbol there, over there. And what was happening is that um, I've set it up that if I lock a file, you can do it different ways, but if I lock a file, I decide to send that one over, text that one to be sent over. Now the weird thing is it doesn't do it right away. It only does it when the camera either goes to sleep or you turn it on or turn it off. So the idea is that it's happening the moment that you click off your camera or it goes to sleep for a second. And then when it wakes up, it starts check checking the cloud again and it uh, goes on. You see it happening by the cloud symbol sort of, uh, yeah, lining up a bit. I will, by the way, um, change the, well, it's not easy to do here. Um, but I will show you how it uh, kind of works. So um, I just took the picture and you can see it here. Let me put the figurine a bit away. You can see it here. The screen might be a bit, a bit bright, but you can see it over there. And you can see this, uh, the cloud symbol there. So what I've done, I, uh, if I press this one for me, it will lock the file. And you see a little lock pop up. Now nothing is happening. I would expect that at some point it will start sending, but it doesn't. But if you trigger it by turning it on and off, you should see something happen within about a minute. So we're going to watch it together and hopefully it will then uh, work out. So the moment it goes to sleep and you wake it up again or you turn it on, you'll see that the cloud symbol starts to blink because it's looking for the internet. So the camera, oh, hopefully, let me do it up so you can see it blinking there. And uh, we are now basically waiting until um, it has a connection, which you see, you see the, the Wi Fi symbol popping up. It's now done. And then somewhere between 10 seconds and 30 seconds, it starts sending it over. So let's hopefully uh, this will work because otherwise I have to do the video again. But within about 30 seconds, you should see it sort of uh, um, start sending it. It goes quite quickly, uh, even for this. There it goes. You see the syncing symbol, and now it's done. So it now sent over the 50 megabyte uh, file. So we will now go to the top view, to this one, and just wait for the image coming in. So I'll explain what's happening. So you need to set it up in your camera. You need to con uh, link it up to the Creative uh, Cloud. Uh, sorry, uh, the Creative Creators Cloud from Sony. Uh, you can need an account. And you need to enable some stuff. And once that's set up in the camera, uh, you need do need to use your your uh, iPhone app for that or your Android app for that. But once it's set up, you don't need it anymore, which is really nice. And then what happens is it automatically pops up in, on the Sony uh, Cloud. And there's also some downside there. Uh, because it's free up to a certain am amount of gigabytes and then you have to pay for it and uh, it doesn't automatically delete the pictures so you have to clean it up yourself or get more uh, storage there 
uh, which I guess is their trick to make sure that the view and there it comes. Uh, it's now sending it over. Uh, I'm not sure why it's show, showing a broken picture. Hopefully because it's still downloading. Uh, otherwise something went uh, went wrong. Uh, maybe if I press it, it would be nice. I've never seen this go wrong. Oh, there it is. So it's, the picture is clearly there, but I'm not sure why it's not showing it. Oh, there it is. So probably if I've waited. So this is the picture we just took. As you can see, directly from the camera into my iPad, into the Lightroom. And I'll also open it up so you can indeed see from the side view that is full raw. Let me check that myself. Let me pick it up. Oops, so hold on, hold on. I'm always my messy self. Yeah, it is a 48.8 uh, megapixels, 50, about 50 max, and it's uh, in raw format. So I'll put it back and you might be able to read that on the screen. I'm not sure if the screen is big enough. So this is totally full raw that they just sent over. Let me do another one. And then I'll talk a tiny bit more. So let me uh, take a picture of the top camera. This was taking this uh, picture. We are on F16, which is a bit much. So took the picture, going into review, lock it, and then uh, you can either let the camera fall to sleep or turn it on and off. Um, I do think this uh, software is uh, far from uh, stable, at least um, or finished is probably the good way of saying it. Um, but anyway, so what happens is that the camera is sensed over, uh, once you set it up, sends it over totally by itself as soon as it finds internet. So over Wi Fi or another way, or over the ethernet cable, which I also checked, which also works, it will send it over to the, to the Sony cloud. Once it's there, you can hook up two connectors. You can either automatically send it to your Lightroom setup, then you have to link it with your Adobe account, or you can set it up with Google so that you can go save file in a Google Drive, which I think is also very interesting. So it's happening once it's in, uh, from the camera to the Sony cloud, it sort of sits there for one or two seconds, and then another process picks it up, sends it to the creative cloud uh, from Adobe, and Adobe, of course, will then, uh, once it's in there, send it back to all the connected devices and it shows up in this case on my uh, iPad. And hopefully the second time will also work. I'm not sure did I already turn off and on the camera. Uh, I think so. So it should pop up, but for safety I'm doing it again. And hopefully it will also work the second time. Um, yeah, like I said, um, probably if you also force it to reload, uh, then it will be can be quicker, I don't know, but um, uh, so the what's what do I like about it? Well, I'd like about it at least it's, it's the first time that we are actually seeing this working. Um, I do think the software um, internally in the camera, so sending it from the camera to the cloud seems to be quite stable, although when it triggers and how much files still need to be sent and stuff like that is really unclear. It should be way nice if you can see, for example, how many pictures still need to be synced. Uh, because you can sync also all the pictures, which will of course take a longer time. Um, that and what it has done in the last few minutes will be interesting to see in the in some log file uh, or in the camera. You can't see that yet, but for the rest, the, the basic software seems to be quite stable. Once it gets into the Sony cloud, then uh, it's a little bit unclear what's happening at times. Um, so it worked the first time. Hopefully, it will also work the second time. But how long it takes to do it? Let me take another picture. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. We saw it just popping up. So you can see this is the picture I just took of the camera that is taking this uh, downward angle. So um, yeah, very interesting. Um, I do think it's a, I would say, say it's a rough beta. You can install it, but some of the, uh, and, and configure it and uh, I will um, uh, yeah, try it yourself, I would say, but I'm pretty sure this is quite still early in the whole the, uh, development process. And I think, and I should improve it a lot more. Uh, but it is, um, I think, a um, very interesting step that for the first time we are actually, at least as far as I know, seeing direct from camera to Lightroom uh, shooting. Of course, it's not tethering, but this will work worldwide, right? And a nice thing, because you can not only save it to Lightroom, but also to, also to Google Drive, that I can totally imagine, and maybe I will uh, do that uh, myself at some point, write some software that takes the Google Cloud, for example, and um, Process the images, maybe uh, automatically send it so, to some AI system to uh, to um, 
figure out what it is and automatically tag it and, and do other stuff with it. So it's an interesting sort of opening that we are now seeing in the Sony uh, lineup. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.